Hi, I'm Peter Kjellström of Kjellström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to move information from Excel into a SharePoint list. In a previous demonstration, I showed you the reasons for that. I talked about the reasons for moving information from Excel into SharePoint. Excel, as you know, is not built for sharing information. It's built for you managing your information. It can be used in a group scenario, and it very often is, but SharePoint is built from the ground up to support a um, sharing scenario. So I'm going to show you the steps now on how to move it. And this is the easiest way, in my opinion. First of all, you need to format the information as a table. If you haven't already done so, you can just select any color scheme, it doesn't matter. Make sure that you get some headers in there, otherwise they will be created automatically. And then you would go into here, the table tools and export. If you haven't done the first step, format as table, then of course you won't find the table tools. So you need to make sure you do that. Export, and then you export the table to a SharePoint list. And then you type in the URL, and I'm gonna put it on the sales site here. Be very careful when entering this URL here, because if you get that wrong, of course nothing will work. I'm also gonna create a read-only connection to the new SharePoint list. You might not need that, but I'm gonna show you later what that does. And I'm gonna call that list now customers. And then I'm gonna go next. Notice that in this dialog here, when I get this confirmation, there are no options here. I can't right click or do anything here. It's just, this is the columns that are gonna get created. Notice that the first one, the customer ID in my case here, that's gonna be entered into the title field. You might not want that. You might want the uh, customer name or something like that there. Then you would simply change the order of the columns. So I'm just gonna finish here. And now it's adding the records. So now this has been published. As you see, there's the URL. And now, since I did do that when I exported, I got this link, create a read-only connection. Now I actually have a button there to open in browser because now Excel knows that there's a connection between Excel and SharePoint. So that concludes this demo. In my next demo, I'm gonna show you how to clean this up and make it more SharePoint specific list and uh, make sure that we use all of the SharePoint features and enable some of those. But that's my next demo. What I did was first, I just formatted as a table. Then I went into table tools, exported the table to a SharePoint list and created a read-only connection. Made sure that I got the proper URL in there to the site. So that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.